Hello, my name is Kurt, and today I will be talking about tarot and a little bit more on astrology because I have sort of a new passion towards astrology, you know, like I always knew my sun sign, but now I've been looking at my natal chart, birth chart, whatever you want to call it, and then it's really enlightening, it's really cool, you know. I always wonder, as a Sagittarius, I'm supposed to be all high, strong, this and that, whatever, like, and then I realized, you know, I looked at my chart, and then I see that moon is in Taurus, and I'm like, oh, I know why I'm so chill and laid back and stuff, it makes sense, you know, it clicks, it's not just a general thing that somebody could have told me, it's, it's very personal, you know, my whole life, very, very, um, interesting, you know, and, um, you know, I have Venus and Scorpio, so that uh, that explains my whole passionate side and all this stuff, you know, like, very cool, very cool. And you might ask, oh, why are you giving out all your, like, major signs and stuff? And it's like, anybody that knows my birthday, you know, could figure that out. Just go out, boom, and, you know, you'll, you get it. That's why, I like... Uh, musicians and stuff or actors like I check you know like um, put in their birth date on the website or whatever and I'm like oh you know it makes sense you know like all this stuff you know all right tarot cards let's get into it all right I had a lot of ex personal experience with tarot cards in my life um, very practical very interesting you, you, you know a lot, you get to know a lot about the person and really tune into their vibe and like really give them a good reading and stuff. And then I'm going to get into this as well, you know, as, as you may, all of you may know already, my videos are very broad, but I'm going to cover a lot of topics here, but all these things are just focal points, focuses, that's it, it's something you can focus on. That's what, that's what some people don't understand, you know, they say, oh, I need tarot cards, you know, or I need, you know, like, as a magician, I need candles, and I need this, and I need that, I need a chalice, and stuff like that. It's all focus, it's all focal points, it's something you focus on, something that draws your mind, your willpower, into the present moment, that's it. Once you become better at these things, in the esoteric na nature, better magician or whatever, you don't need any of this stuff, you know, you don't need anything, willpower, that's it, your own power, you are what gives the cards power, you know, other people say, this deck is very powerful, that deck is powerful, oh, you should only use this deck, that deck, blah, 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 doesn't depend on the deck, you know, depends on the person, you are what give the cards power, how it is and I'm going to get into this because there's a lot of people new to the whole psychic field and stuff and like tarot cards are very very effective at, at teaching you how to tune into other people to become more psychic to to understand because they give you a physical um, visual standpoint and stuff they're also really cool tarot cards are very artistic that appeals to my moon and Taurus nature you know I love art, whether it's music, painting, um, drawing, stuff like that. I can draw myself. That's what sucks, you know? Very good with music. I could, I could write songs. I could, I could play. I play a couple of instrument, uh, instruments, actually. I play guitar. I know how to play ocarina, which is like a wind type of instrument. You know, I could play drums, but not very well, but I could I could hammer out you know a uh, basic rhythm, a basic beat, like a bluesy type. I'm a very bluesy type of person. Like like blues music, slow, you know, Led Zeppelin drumming, da, da, yeah, stuff like that. Really cool. But um, yeah, I've been tuning into like I'm gonna get into elements too. I've been tuning into like elements a lot more too you know now when i work on my music very in tune with the water element as you guys know my one song uh to bathe in your waters is based around the water element it has a very watery type of feel and then as a music musician it's really cool to incorporate 
elements into your songs, you know, like Blood of the Alchemist, I feel is like a fiery type of earth, earthy, fiery type of song, you know, it's like getting more in tune with this type of stuff, you know, but it's really cool, you know, like you look at famous musicians, like Jimmy Page, definitely tuning into the fire element, fire and air, his main sign, his sun sign is um, Capricorn, I forgot to look at the rest of his chart, but I'm sure he has some fire in there, Leo or something, maybe Ascendant, or I don't know, but, um, very fiery, he just gets there, and just like, shreds, like, incredibly fast, but makes it sound incredibly, incredibly good, you know, that's the air element, fire element is the speed, but he's very sloppy, very sloppy guitarist, very good, but very sloppy, sloppy, sloppy element comes from too much fire, you know, too much, um, speed into bluesy licks, which, which they call it sloppy blues and stuff, which is pretty cool, you know, I definitely appreciate that type of stuff, but I learn how to balance the elements, you know, but anyway, yeah, what else was I going to get into, uh, tarot cards, okay, so, when you're developing your, your psychic abilities, or just regular stuff in general, you know, you might think, you know, but oh, Kurt, this stuff is so girly, man, it's so feminine, like, how the hell could you be, like, a dude and enjoy doing this, you know, it's like, I don't know, it's like, I was always innately, like, uh, intuitive, psychic type of stuff, just very, very in touch with emotions and, and things of the esoteric nature, you know, it's like I was very, very, always as a kid even, very into that stuff, so to me it comes naturally, this whole feminine, masculine thing, see, because my sun sign isn't Sagittarius, so, uh, you know, I should be all like, oh, you know, that's this and that, you know, but, uh, I think it's the moon and Taurus energy that's really, like, like, uh, feeling-like type of sensory type of thing. But, yeah, no, don't worry about that stuff. It's like, in life, it's all about becoming the best person you can be. Two become one. Masculine becomes feminine. It's another thing I want to get into, you know. Women, very intuitive by nature, very psychic, very, um, very receptive, you know, any type of women, you know, usually, it depends, obviously, everybody's different, but women are usually in tune with this stuff already, whereas guys are just completely oblivious, and then, you know, obviously, I find a lot of cool dudes out there, you know, like, I've been watching a lot of astrology videos, a lot of, um, spiritual videos and stuff, a lot of cool, chilled, laid-back dudes that know what the hell they're talking about, very cool, very appreciated that, you know, they're merging the whole, like, masculine with feminine with, with all this stuff, really cool stuff, but yeah, you know, let's get more into elements, you know? Let's get more into elements astrology first before I get into tarot. Um, elements. Like I said, a lot of water coming into my life. I don't know why, but always, always in my life, deep fascination with Piscean women. Pisces. Major, major crush. On a Pisces chick in, in, in high school. And me being a Venus and Scorpio, I like the whole like mysterious, emotional type of thing. And also me being innately, like, sort of like, um, uh, um, spiritual and stuff, you know, that really appeals to me. Um, but major, major crush. And it doesn't make sense, you know, like, to me, because, you know, they say, oh, I have a son in Sagittarius, this and that, like, like, 
technically speaking, like, it shouldn't be, like, super compatible with, with, uh, water elements and stuff, but it's still, it's the Venus and Scorpio. Like, when I think of a Piscean woman, like, I could just, you could just look in, you could just look a Piscean woman in the eyes, and you'll see, like, the beauty, you know, it's, they have such marvelous eyes, you know. Scorpio have very like intense piercing like eyes, but Pisces very gentle, very caring, like very chill, you know. Really, really as as a Sagittarius and even as I have a decent amount of fire in my chart, you know, I have a good mix of elements. That's a good thing. I have I have Sagittarius and, and, and Song. I have, uh, uh, my Mars is in Sagittarius, and I think something else, but then I have, I have a good Capricorn and stuff, I have a lot, I have a good thing. It's like, you might be saying, like I say, oh, you know, why are you giving out this information? But it's like, if you have my birthday, figure it out, you know, like I said. That's why I do with musicians that, that I like and stuff, I'm trying to figure it out and stuff. Where, where do they get this playing style from? Where it is that? Whatever, you know. Like, Jimi Hendrix, I think, was a Sagittarius. And, uh, Jim Morrison was a Sagittarius. You know, Brad Pitt is a Sagittarius. Really makes sense. You could really feel that, that vibe and that connection with those people. Like, I understand. But, uh, back to, back to Piscean women. Very, very interesting. Like when when I look at Pis when I look at Pisces in the eyes, it feels almost like a blanket with like twenty teddy bears on the cold winter night where your bones were freezing solid and you were just so completely restless. And then the Pisces woman is like that blanket that warms you up, and those teddy bears that comfort you, you know? That's why. Always such a big fascination with Piscean women in my life. Never was in a relationship with one. Never. Unfortunately, you know? It's like, I don't know why. Very, very drawn to these type of women. Very caring, very loving. But just for some reason, the one girl I had a major crush on, she just wasn't interested, I guess, or whatever. Like, she was maybe the different side of Pisces, I think, you know. One day, one day, I will be in a relationship with a Pisces. Because my whole Venus and Scorpio aspect is like in intertwining with somebody. Like, the two becoming one, such passion, such intensities to the, like when it comes to love and sex and all this stuff like very spiritual type of thing you know to experience and like these other signs and stuff it's it's hard to experience that with them you know like water element very very receptive very passionate very i think i would be very like that's why I'm so drawn to them, because the Sagittarius in me, like, all this fire in me and stuff. But like I said, I'm very mixed, but, like, all this fire in me, this philosopher, this everything, just, I need to just be doused, man. Just, like, I'm chill as hell already. Taurian energy in me and stuff, but, like, I'm so restless, you know? My heart and all this stuff, just, I want to be, like, doused, you know? Just bathed in that comfort, you know, very weird, but yes, always very into Pisces women, for as long as I can remember, every girl I had a crush on, every, every damn girl I had a crush on, Pisces, Scorpio too, Scorpio, very, very interesting, alluring and stuff, but I really dig the whole water element, but relationship-wise, Virgos are very into me. I attract a lot of Virgos into my life. 
Virgos are very analytical, though. It's like... I don't like being analyzed all the damn time, you know? It's like, I'm always chill, I'm laid back. I'm like, who cares, you know? It's like, they're like, oh, I need this. I need to be clean. I need to be this, you know? It's like, like... It depends. It depends on the person, you know? Like they can always change, they're mutable and stuff, you know, but very interesting people, Virgo. Very, very interesting but strange from my experience. Leo, Gemini, whatever, all these other people, very cool, very chilled back, very like, I really get along with them. Aries too. Cancer, I get along with everybody, you know, you know everybody my chart is very mixed you know I'm not gonna tell you guys the other part of it I just told you the first part of it there's also the ascendant there's also the houses there all there's also all this other stuff marriage house and all this stuff and money and all this stuff that's gonna remain secret but yeah very cool like all right, I, I talked about Pisces women, how they're all dreamy and mystical, and you know, like that really, uh, appe very artistic too. That really appeals to me. But Scorpio, Scorpio is very passionate, very intense, very like. They, f it feels like, when I look a Scorpio person in the eyes, it's like. I feel that, uh, that intensity, that that passion deep hidden hurt type of thing, you know, very cool people, major crush on, on, a, on um, a musician, a female musician, Taylor Momsen from The Pretty Reckless, she has a moon in Scorpio, very fascinating to me, instant attraction, first time I saw her, I was like, damn, She's, she also plays that mysterious, you know, part, like, she dresses in black, and, like, 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 I don't know, it's just very, so alluring. <sighs> but, um, let's see, Taurus women, men, whatever, very caring, very grounded, very, very kind people, you know? I'm getting too much into it. like astrology and stuff. I was gonna talk about tarot and stuff. All right, that's that. Tarot. Ah, uh, let's see. Now you're probably thinking, okay, I want to do tarot. It sounds interesting. It's cool. Whatever. Which tarot deck should I get? It's unimportant. You know, the most popular one is is the Rider deck. Definitely very popular. But it's whatever appeals to you. Whatever pulls you in. Whatever guides you, that's what you should choose. Um, me personally, I am very in tune, very receptive to the specific deck. It's called the Druid Craft Tarot Deck. I forgot who is by. I do apologize, but every tarot deck comes with a little booklet and stuff and information and stuff. And you're like, oh, but Kurt, like, how do I do all this stuff? The book gives you basic information. Like, that's when you're just first beginning. But the whole point of tarot is to get deep into it. The symbology, the elements play a very important role here. There's a little nudity in these cards, too. But that's also very important. It's not for, for no reason, you know. I'm going to show you. Like, beautiful art. Very, I appreciate it. Even if the cards were, like... For nothing, I would buy them for the art itself. Very beautiful. See here, you have the star. I don't know if it's picking up on camera or not. If it's picking up well or not. But it has a female with like two jugs of water. One foot, one foot dipped into water. Another foot on on a rock. You also have to pay attention to the moon. Like I'm gonna teach you guys how to how to do this symbology but also how to tune into the card because the book tells you basic information like oh you know this means this like for example 
the book would tell you this is like some kind of gathering, some kind of social event, some kind of celebration, some kind of like, um, like feast or whatever. That's, that's so obvious, you know, but it gets so much deeper. See, like here, a lot of symbology. Water represents, just like water in astrology, represents the emotional, the hidden, the spiritual, the, the, that sort of thing, you know. Um, so you have here, she's dipping one foot into the water and she's pouring one jug of water back into the water. So it's like she's acknowledging the spiritual side of things, the spiritual realm, the hidden realm, but she also has her other foot on the rock. So she's grounded, she's stabilized to earth, but she's pouring the water into onto the earth, onto the rock, which basically means she's bringing the spiritual aspect back into the physical, like, or offering some of the spiritual aspect to the earth, or like, to the, the, like, the grounded portion of her, you know? And the nudity, you know, like, you say, oh, like, Kurt, you're a perv, you know? <laughs> you buy all these cars with nudies, man, like, you just want to stare at tits all day. <laughs> That's not it. Like I said, I'm a Venus and Scorpio, I'm very passionate, none of this pervy stuff. Um, nudity, very important, there for a reason. Nudity, it represents kind of like the Earth element the air element, you know, you're open, you're open to the air, you're stripped of all your clothes, you're not restricted, you're, you're allowing yourself to partake in that, you know what I mean, very important symbology too, you're pure, you're innocent, you're not afraid, you know, you're naked to the elements, you're naked to the world, moon, the moon is a crescent that's waxing, I think, or is it waning? No, it's waxing, I think. Uh, waxing crescent. Very important, too. Now, waxing moon means that things are decreasing, that, like, the moon is retreating. Waning means that it's increasing. I think I got that right. I'm not 100% sure. It might be the other way around. <laughs> but I'm just so chill and laid back right now that I'm not going to get into that. But yeah, can, can you guys see what I'm talking about? Like... The whole intuition, the whole getting into the card. It's not just about like, okay, you know, you know, you have this card and you're reading, oh yeah, it means this, it means that, it means that. It means so much more. You know, like like this is how you develop your psychic senses. This is how you look upon a person and you you're you're training yourself visually, you know, like when I like when I look at this card I instinctually already know all that stuff. I pull all that stuff out. Another person that looks at this card will see a new chick pouring water into a damn lake and they'll be like, what the hell is this about? Like, like they'll be like, what the hell, you know? Like, they don't know what the hell is going on. Like, it's a symbology. Like I said, the masculine and the feminine, the feminine aspect, the vagina, it's an opening, you know, it's a receiver. Women are naturally intuitive, naturally receiving. Men have the phallus the penis, naturally the givers, naturally the projectors, they create the life, the woman receives the life, but if you merge those two together, something special happens, you know, very intense stuff, you know, very intense, and yeah, that's how you look at the cards, and like, the cards have a lot of different aspects, you know, they, like pentacles, pentagrams, very, very, very important in uh, tarot cards. Usually, no matter what tarot cards you get, they'll have some form of uh, pen pentacle, pentagram. And this symbol is very misunderstood. You know, Christians think it's Satan. You know, all this stuff. It's it's a symbol that's very old that has been used by civilizations that has been actually used by Christians before. You know, like. It's a very powerful and old symbol, and it also symbolizes a lot of things. When you see a pentacle, what does it symbolize? The five points, you know? Five points of man, or five points, the five, like, sort of elements, you know? You have earth, air, wind, 
I mean, sorry, earth, air, fire, water, and spirit. Yeah. It's very important. And then she's like, like this chick here, this girl is like contemplating this, you know, like, see, this is why you have to understand what it means, like, like, to a regular person, if they see this, like, like a Christian person see this, they'll be like, she's contemplating Satan or something. <laughs> like, it doesn't make any sense. But like, you know, you gotta know, you gotta tune in, you gotta inform yourself, like, it's a really cool card, you know. Some cards missing from this deck, you know, not missing. But I set them aside. Four mysterious cards that I will not reveal. Maybe one. The lovers. <laughs> oh, what was that? But yeah, I'm not gonna show you all the cards, but I'm just messing around with the tarot. Um, but yeah. Ten of Cups. Family. Like very what I envision myself, you know, with a wife and stuff and like kids and stuff, a rainbow in the background, like teaching your kids about like all this stuff. Like very, very very nice vibe. See, it's about the vibe of the car. Like, what do you feel? Like, you guys will get this. I know you guys will get this. Ace of Cups. Very cool. Very cool. The Hermit. Ah. Very popular card in all tarot decks. Led Zeppelin. Jimmy Page very connected to the hermit like I think he wanted to be like the hermit you know the hermit symbolizes like this scruffy old man with like a dog like obviously a hermit but he has a lot of knowledge and he's, he's, he's using a lantern on the top of like a hill or whatever to enlighten the people to bring the knowledge out from the hidden very powerful card I connect to this card a lot you know I'm pretty much like a hermit <laughs> But, um, very, very interesting, very powerful. Ace of Swords, very blunt, very powerful. One hand coming out of the water with the sword. What does that mean? The spiritual realm surfacing upwards. The, the um, sword is an element of air, I believe, or fire, I forgot. I'm forgetting my Wiccan terminology, but... Um, it's like the hidden coming out, you know, of and persevering type of thing. You see what I'm getting at? That's what I'm trying to show you guys. Like how to be more receptive, how to, how to understand tarot more. It's it's not just about the imagery. It's not about the symbology. It's about the feeling. Like very 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 cool. But yeah, I don't want this video to be too long. So, I'm going to show you Three of Swords, really cool card. Another, oh yeah, blonde, you know, blonde hair symbology. Blonde hair symbolizes purity, innocence, like light, it's a light color, you know, so you have this girl with blonde hair, like laying in the field and stuff. Same thing with the other card I previously showed you guys. Um, a girl, blonde hair. Very important. You can't just be like, oh yeah, you know, it's a girl, whatever. You have to take into account her hair color. You have to take in everything. This is how we read people too, you know. You might look into a Pisces woman's eyes and you might see, you know, the emotional, caring nature or whatever, but you gotta dig deeper, you know. You gotta take everything into, um, you have to really, really, if you want to be a really good psychic or a really good esoteric person, really have to develop intuition and, and, and visual and, and everything. Very cool, very cool. Uh, but yeah, what else do I want to cover? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, alright guys, so thanks for watching, you know, these videos really inspire me to, to 
get myself talking, to get this information out there, you know, because otherwise, you know, I'm a Sagittarius, I'm a philosopher, like, I'll think all this stuff through and I'll keep it to myself, or, like, I'll just forget about it and move on to something else and stuff, but, like, very, a lot of watery type of vibes feeling, like, recently, so, very in tune with that, very open to sharing, I appreciate you guys for, um, listening, hope you guys get yourself a tarot deck, no matter what kind it is, and start developing that sense. If you're a dude, don't think it's like chick stuff, you know, like, oh, I'm messing around with, 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 with cars and stuff, and like, the hell is this? There's power behind this feminine stuff. That's why some people could say women rule the world <laughs> with their women control men, because all men want something the woman has, which is the receptive nature, you know, if you're a pervert, you want the vagina, if you're 